morning. Six men are going on trial accused of conspiracy to murder and conspiracy to cause explosions likely to endanger life on London's transport system in July 2005. Let's go straight to Woolwich Crown Court. Our Home Affairs correspondent Andy Tai is there. Andy. Good morning. Well, as you might expect, there's a great deal of interest in what's happening here at Woolwich Crown Court on the outskirts of South East London this morning. A lot of security. Every vehicle coming into the compound here being uh, thoroughly a search. Uh, the case formally began last week when a jury panel of around 100 people uh, was, was drawn up and then they selected the final jury itself, 12 people, nine women and three men. And in the next few minutes it's expected the trial will indeed begin uh, relating to those events that happened in the capital a year and a half ago. July 21st, 2005, and the capital is once again at the highest state of alert after a number of explosive devices are found at various locations across the city. Three are on underground trains at different stations, one is on a bus, and a fifth is discovered later in a park. None of the devices went off. Today, at Woolwich Crown Court in south-east London, six men go on trial accused of conspiracy to murder and conspiracy to cause explosions likely to endanger life. They're Mukhtar Ibrahim, Manfu Asiedu, Hussein Osman, Yasin Omar, Ramzi Mohammed and Adel Yahya. A jury of nine women and three men have already been sworn in. The trial judge, Mr Justice Fulford, told them the public had been understandably concerned about the possibility of terrorist events occurring so close to home. But he said, you should remain wholly unaffected by any feelings of apprehension you might have had in 2005. All six defendants deny the charges and the trial is likely to last four months.